Hello everyone, my name is Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we have the Dauntless Armors tier list, and I was actually surprised because I thought I had done this already, but I guess I was thinking about the fashion tier list, but apparently I haven't even done this yet, and this was heavily requested after the Dauntless Google outdated thing. We got a lot to go over, 130 armor pieces in the game, we have 127 pictures because I just combined the Kurolaki armor here. Even if I try to make this faster, this is still going to be a long video. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You're already watching all the videos. You're already watching them to the end. Like, you should subscribe, man. All right, so we got, we got S, A, B, C, D, F, and memes only. And speaking of the Kurolaki armor, that's going to memes only. Of course, the recruit armor is going to be going in there as well. All of this right here going in memes only. I don't think I need to explain why all of these have like, I think three three defense rating and zero cells slots and no built-in perk. And those are the main things that we are going to be looking at. What is the built-in perk and what cell slot does it give? You can pretty much get away with any cell slot these days except for defense unless it has some synergy with Tenacious so you can throw Tough in there or something. But for the most part we are going to be thinking of this in terms of what is the best hence the meta. All right, so let's go here. Urska Helmets is the Cascade Insight slot. Uh, I think this is going to be like a C or a D, honestly. Cascade is not that great anymore, but it's definitely seen its use in the past. And if Cascade ever becomes like actually good again, then this will be better. I, I think we'll throw it in a D for now, just because Cascade really is more of a trap than it is actually good. And you know what, we'll throw it as a C and then the chest piece we'll throw as a D because of the mobility slot or alacrity slot. Alacrity is, I would still rank it worse to have than a utility slot, but it's not as bad as it used to be because you have certain applications such as adrenaline and endurance. The Urska boots have a guardian and an insight slot. We are going to throw that sort of thing in the F tier because guardian is not particularly helpful in terms of damage related stuff. You could argue this as a D if you want to say there is an application for the lower levels of gameplay, but we're going to throw it as the F because it's not doing anything to help your damage except that insight slot is fine. So maybe, maybe we'll throw it as, as a D. So then we have the Ursk Arms has Etheric Evasion and the Technique slot. Not great, but not horrible. I'd probably put it as a C. You're just never going to really want to throw on an Etheric Evasion with this, with the built-in perk. I don't know, low, low C or high D probably for this. We'll throw this here for now. We'll see if I change my mind. The Boreas Boots have Tenacious Technique slot. Probably throw those in a B. Tenacious is is an okay damage cell. It's not great, but it's not, you know, it's better than nothing, obviously. And then Boreas Gloves, Tenacious Power Slot, probably pretty much the same thing. You need a you need a couple of power slots on your build, and you know, you have the Tenacious on there. Not, you know, obviously better than nothing, but obviously not the best. Boreas Chest, Rage Defense Slot. I'm gonna say low C. Rage can be useful in a Revenant build. And I guess, you know, a defensive slot could throw on tough, so it wouldn't make it terrible, but it's not optimal. It's not optimal damage-wise. And Boreas Helmet is conditioning plus an insight slot. That is got to be an F. That's got to be an F, right? You know, conditioning is not going to do anything particularly useful for you most of the time. It's only about stamina regeneration, and you can dodge with one stamina. Chara Gloves have Rage Utility Slots, probably throw that on the same level as this. Chara Boots have uh, Tenacious Power Slots, pretty much the same as these. So I can't exactly structure everything in the exact order that it should go in, because I would say pretty much all of these three are the same. Uh, what is this? Aether Hunter Utility Slots? That's an F. That's, that's probably memes only territory, honestly, but we'll throw it as an F. We'll just reserve memes only for the recruit gear and the Kurolaki gear. I believe this is sturdy defense slot on the helmets. Uh, we're going to throw this as an F. Parasitic defensive slot on the Agra's helmets. That's not bad as far as defensive cells go, but when you're running parasitic, you only really need a plus three to begin with. I'm going to throw this as a, a D or a C. And then the chest piece is parasitic insight slot. We'll throw that a little higher. You know, parasitic is an okay cell when you need some lifesteal and you're maybe you're not running iceborne. The gloves are sturdy defensive slots. That is an F as well. That's literally the same as this. 
oh no, it's Fortress plus a defensive slot, which again is not great. Fortress does have a little bit of better application than Guardian, I would even say, so we'll probably throw that here. Valamir, chest piece, has nine lives, power slot on it. The nine lives, most of the time it does nothing. The power slot brings it up, I would say, but most of the time this does nothing with the built-in perk, so I think we're going to say high F. So Chronovore Helmets has Zeal Brutality slots. I feel like this is going to have to be a D. We'll probably throw it around here. Reason being, you don't really want to build extra insight on your gear in the slightest. But you pretty much don't want this to be built into your gear because if you are not running Catalyst, you're running plus three utility cell. And if you are running Catalyst, then you want it to be Catalyst. So it's going to be a D tier. Chronovore Chest, Grace Finesse Slot. We probably have to say this is like a low D or an F. I, I guess we'll throw it as a D. Chrono Grips have Pulse Defense slots. That's actually not too bad. We're going to throw that in a C. Pulse is usually that plus three you want. You could throw this in some build if you wanted to. Then Chronovore Legs is a Pulse Technique slot. This is either an S or an A because Pulse Technique is a really good... I'm going to throw this as an A. I personally don't use these as much as maybe some other people do. It's either an S or an A. It's a low S or a high A. We'll throw as a high A for the time being. We'll see if I change my mind. It's the first A, but, you know, most armor pieces suck, so this is to be expected. Valamir Helmet has Lucent Brutality. Lucent, Lucent is kind of a meme cell, I'll be honest. I don't know. If I'm putting Zeal in D, I should probably throw Lucent in F. All right, Etheric Attunement Brutality slots on the Drask Helmet. This isn't bad necessarily, but it's not good end game wise. Early game wise, this is a little bit better. It's it's somewhere in here, somewhere in here probably. And then I believe the chest plate is the same exact thing. Grass gloves sharpened insight slot. Now sharpened, you might use it for an escalation one shot build, but that's it. You don't want to use it otherwise. It doesn't actually increase your damage. It only increases your part damage, aka the yellow damage number. Gonna throw this as a D because aside from that one use for it, you're not using it. Drask Legs, Fleet-Footed Insight Slots. This is not, not particularly good. You can use it for a move speed build, but I don't think we should really count move speed builds as being like better. Embermane, Embermane Gloves are gonna have Endurance Finesse Slot. I feel like this should be a high B because endurance itself is not good but when combined with adrenaline it is good and this is where this gets used I think a high b is fine for that the boots have evasion defense slot get that in the f tier my boy evasion's like the worst sell in the game the helmet has evasive fury alacrity slot it's not bad we'll probably throw that Probably throw that a little bit behind the dress gear, potentially. And the chest piece is a base Fury Alacrity slot, same thing. Looks like we have Rift Stalker gloves, which are going to be Evasion Alacrity. Get that in the F tier, my fam. Valamir gloves, Lucent Fortitude. Where was the other Lucent thing? IF, yeah. So we have Tough Brutality slot here. Pretty good for the Tenacious builds. Nah, I'd say this is probably the bottom of the B tier. Very bottom of the B tier, having the tough Tenacious synergy. Because the rest of this stuff you are probably not using anyway. Nasher Gloves, Rage Hunter, Brutality Slot. Probably a C, probably a C, probably around here. Nasher Cloak, Tough Defense Slot. We'll probably throw this as a high C, because you will use this sometimes. But you're probably not using it if you're not using a tough Tenacious build. And then Nasher Hat has Tenacious Defense slots, pretty much the same deal as this one. Koshai Gloves have Evasive Fury plus a Brutality slot. I'd probably throw this up here, up here probably. Kind of good to get in the early game, but aside from that, I think I've used this all of once in the end game. So probably going to have to say that's a C tier type item. Valamir Boots, they have Aether Hunter Insight slots, that is an F, so all of the Valamir armor is an F. Aether Hunter is just bad, Lucent is just bad, that's that's pretty much what's going against these. Not that Lucent does nothing, it's just comparatively bad. Hellion Gloves have Molten Brutality slot on them. Molten, Molten you do use quite a bit more often in the 
non-catalyst builds, and Brutality Slot's a pretty good... Though, again, you still sort of want to only have three Molten if you're going to have it anyway. We'll throw this We'll throw this around here. The Hellion Helmet has Rage Hunter Finesse Slot. We're probably going to throw that... Well, I'll throw that a little bit above the Nasher Gloves. Yeah, actually, we're going to throw these like this, probably. Hellion Boots have Fortress Brutality Slot. Fortress, good. Probably better than this. So, yeah. Chest piece, molten finesse slot. Again, you only really want three molten if you're going to have it, you know, which will go in your lantern. So you're probably not going to have too much of a use for this, but you'll probably have, uh, where are the Hellion gloves here? Okay. So you're probably going to have a slightly better time using this than the gloves, honestly. The Karabak gear, I believe these gloves have conditioning and alacrity, and that is going to have to be an F, probably. Mobility builds, we're going to throw these, this in here. Actually, you don't really use that too much in those. The Karabak boots have conditioning brutality. That is going to have to be, a, and that's going to have to be an F as well. And maybe we'll throw it as a high F. Karabak helmet has Assassin's Frenzy, Alacrity slot. This is going to have to be above that. And we'll probably throw this somewhere in this neighborhood. Probably, probably say it's... I'll say it's around here, honestly. We have the Karabak chest piece, which has Blade Storm and a finesse slot on it. I do remember actually using this, funnily enough, in like one of my first trials, but Blade Storm is really bad. The finesse slot saves it a little bit, but it's worse than Grace. It's it's either the highest of Fs or bad. Yeah, conditioning brutality, at least it has a good slot, but <coughs> Again, you are pretty much never going to be using any of these things in the DRF anyway. Malkarian stuff. Malkarian gloves. Absolute S tier. You use those in, like, 80% of your builds. Absolute S tier. Malkarian boots. Aether Hunter finesse slots. Uh, isn't that... That's F tier. That's That's gotta be F tier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll just throw all this stuff in the F tier. Bad. Grace Alacrity Slot, this is a move mobility build, but it can also be, like, decent. You'd probably be, like, uh, I don't know. It'd probably be, like, a D, honestly. But, you know, if you're using it for the attack speed boosts, it, it, you can use it. It's usable for attack speed boost, but this is a pretty good mobility build option. Oh, Carrion Chest, Aether Hunter Finesse Slot. Yeah, no. Rift Stalker Chest Piece, Conduit Insight Slot. That's not terrible, terrible. That's just not great i'll probably throw it as like a high d because again you only really want plus three of the inside slots oh shy chest piece we'll probably have to throw this as an a because of the insight slot as i've been broken record talking about you only want the lantern insight slot on a non-catalyst build but on a catalyst build this is good this is really good we have predator as the built-in perk absolutely got here angar boots have overpower plus a defense slot i'd probably throw this above these like you're gonna use this sometimes in eh, it's probably on the same level as these honestly because you know on a non-catalyst build hangar gloves knockout king and a defense slot that is gonna have to be a d or an f probably say an f uh hangar helmet knockout king brutality slot probably better probably a d but still don't use it Hangar chest plate, we have Fortress Brutality slots, probably better than the helmet, but not not good, good. We have the Prismatic Grace, which now has Medic, I believe, and a Technique slot. But considering you get a free revive and extra, extra other stuff when you revive somebody else, but I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't call it the worst helmet in the game by any stretch i don't think it deserves an f to the other exotics while we're down here we have the skull forge which has molten and a defensive slot molten giving it molten was pretty solid blade spin did actually get buffed so this actually might be a better strategy than i'm giving it credit for at the moment so we'll probably put this probably put that here for the time being tragic echo has rage brutality slot I think this would be used more if it was more usable, but Rage is not usable really these days. Probably better than the Skull Forge still, 
because of that extra damage potential, but you're probably just not going to use this anyway. I don't, I don't, I can't remember the last time we used Tragic Echo in a trial setting even. The Phalanx Gloves have Omni Surge Insight slots. I'm going to probably say this is a D. Again, even the act of throwing this on means you're going to have a plus nine Insight slots on your build, which is not, not great. The boots are Fleet Footed Alacrity. That's going to be a mobility build. The chest piece has parasitic defensive slot, same as that helmet. The helmet has Omni Surge Alacrity slots. So this is a, probably slightly better than that, but still not leaps and bounds better because with that Alacrity slot, you're either going to put in Assassin's Frenzy for a non-catalyst build, or you're going to be wanting Adrenaline and Endurance. So probably still a D, maybe a C. You could maybe argue Omni Surge is worth Cs, but Quill Shot stuff is here and we have barbed finesse slot on here We're probably gonna throw this right there barbed pro barbed is probably better than blade storm we'll give it that so whatever but well shot gloves barbed finesse slot same thing i think in dauntless trials that was a strat using quill shot gloves quill shot chess piece savagery technique slot that has to be a b or an a I feel like we're going to have to give it a B, high B, because you have to be running wounds to do this. You know, this is sort of like you have to want to run a particular cell to run these. More will be an S and A, I promise. I promise. It's just going to be an exclusive club. All right, we have full shot helmet, savagery, defense slots. Not as good, obviously. We're probably going to have to throw this as a C, given that. But yeah, probably probably still above the Nasher gear. Resicuri legs have agility, alacrity, not even usable as a mobility build. Conduit technique slot. This used to be very useful when conduit was the best technique slot, but not quite the case anymore. We'll probably have to throw this still in the C's at least. Probably throw that around there. The chest piece, cunning and a utility slot. That's gotta be an A. And then conduit technique slot again. We're gonna throw that as a C. Yeah, the chest piece pretty much on par with the Koshai chess piece. Probably probably throw the Koshai chess piece a little bit above because you can get cunning on a lot of different places. Savit so helmet has tactician insight slot. Tactician never really played around with tactician as much as I probably should have, but tactician you need to dodge three attacks to get a wound damage bonus. I'd probably throw that worse than barbed. It's just too much setup for not enough reward and tactician mobility slot on the chest plate as well probably going to have to say tactician like the thought was there if it was one dodge then it would probably be useful it probably still wouldn't even be overpowered if it was one dodge Unless mobility slot on the gloves that's not terrible it's not horrendous but again you still sort of need to be using a endurance adrenaline build so that's probably not likely you might be you're probably doing that on chain blades but this is probably gonna have to be down here and you have to be running non-catalyst that's a very conditional build but it's not bad if you are wanting to fit that specific conditional build savit boots have assassin's frenzy finesse slot better much better probably have to throw this as a b tier of sorts actually not bad i have used it in a non-catalyst build before so there you go the shrike stuff shrike gloves weighted strikes alacrity slot f weighted strikes was supposed to be useful for chain blades when they couldn't interrupt but ever since i've been back playing the game they have been able to interrupt on their own so chest plate has evasion mobility and that is a hard f shrike boots i believe have grace and mobility so that's going to be a move speed build and the helmet is going to have evasion and a finesse slot. Still an F. You, you just never, never want to run evasion ever. Shroud stuff. Shroud helmet. Shroud helmet. Do I give it the S tier? I feel like I'm going to give it the S tier. Just because there's literally like no helmets. <laughs> but cunning brutality slot lets you get that berserker or overpower in. And it's like one of two or three helmet options that you even have. The shroud boots are nine lives and insight. So where was the other nine lives thing? I, I feel like you just throw nine lives in F because it can just do nothing at all. Shroud gloves have medic insight slot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this an F. You really have a very limited use 
for Medic. I don't think I've used Medic ever since the Terra Escalation came out. Most of the time, if people are going to go down, they are going to be running either the Terra or the Chronovore Legendary Weapons, so they will have a free revive for themselves every round anyway. And the Shroud Chest has Rage Brutality slot still. It's unfortunate it didn't get changed in any way. Probably on par with the Boreas. Then we have the Skarn Boots have Guardian and the defensive slot. Where is Guardian? D tier, I got, you know, you can protect your teammates, but it's not going to do anything. Skarn Gloves, Fortress plus, right, Fortress plus defense slot. Where are we with that stuff? I think it's probably, probably tier or something. The Skarn Helmet, tough plus a defensive slot. You will use this. From time to time, if you are running these uh, Nasher, these uh, tough, tenacious builds, probably probably the least useful. You probably will run Nasher gear before that, but... And then another Guardian defensive slot for this. And where was that? That's down here. Scrave Gloves. Now have Etheric Evasion and Alacrity. Etheric Evasion, where was that? That was here. I'll probably have to throw this down here. Again, you're probably never going to want to run that there. Yeah, we'll probably throw both of these down here. It's like a third evasion is better than nothing, but you're probably going to run literally anything above this first, right? I think I've run the Skarn Helmet more often than this, but it's not a bad, bad sell, right? It's it's okay. It's just not something you want to throw on your build intentionally. Grave stuff still. Scrave Helmet, Fleet-Footed, Alacrity Slot. That's going to be a mobility type build. Grave Boots have Adrenaline Insight. This is somewhere in the Bs, right? It's probably about here. And then the chest has Adrenaline plus the Mobility Slot. Probably in this B, we might even want to argue that's an A. Because you can take care of all of your Adrenaline right on this. I don't know, we'll say, we'll probably have to say the, these are above the Emmermain Gloves. Might even have to argue that uh, these three things are above the Emmermain Gloves, probably because these inherently give you the damage, and then this is just like, you have to be running that to get this to be useful. Stormclaw Boots, we have Etheric Evasion plus Alacrity. The, the wiki's kind of outdated on some of these things. Etheric Evasion plus Alacrity would be this sort of thing, right? I think it's the same as the Scrave Gloves. The Stormclaw Gloves now, I believe, have Catalyst, making them instantly better. Catalyst, Alacrity, they're better. It's just like you're not really going to use them that often still. Probably a low B. You're barely using them because there are better ways to get Catalyst on your build most of the time. And in that situation, you have to be running Adrenaline Endurance anyway. The Stormclaw Helmet has Energized Finesse Slot. Energized is only good on Sword. It's only good on Sword. But because it's only good on Sword, you will be using it sometimes. The more I look at this, the more I want to throw it, like, way down here. Probably this, more like this way. The Stormclaw chest piece, energized alacrity slot, definitely not as useful as the helmet is. So, we'll probably throw this, like, a high D tier because, you know, again, you can use it on sword. Oshai boots, predator, and an insight slot on par with its top, but there are better boots. There are more better boots, I would say, so it's probably lower than the chest piece, but still very good. Still very, very good. The Riftstalker boots have Conduit Alacrity, again, with the extra insight slots actually being on the build pieces. Probably not the best, but it's probably probably in the C tier range because of those Resicurity pieces. Zeal Brutality, where was that at? That was the Chrono Helm. So on par with the Chrono Helm, the boots are the dre the Thunderdeep boots are Zeal finesse. Probably throw that slightly above the Chrono stuff. The Thunderdeep Drask chest piece is Etheric Evasion Insight slots. I think for the same reasons, you gotta sort of say that this is not exactly the best to have extra insight slots on your build. The Thunderdeep Helmet has... The Thunderdeep Helmet has sharpened finesse slots, probably better even than the... Uh, where's the other one? The Drask Gloves, because those have an insight slot on them, right? Probably say this is better. Probably say this is a high D with, the, with this, because, again, 
you're only using sharpened in a escalation one shot build all right thrax helmet catalyst plus insight we're gonna have to throw this in b because the extra insight slot you usually don't need that the main reason you would use this i believe is if you are the engineer of the of the quad trial both the thrax chest piece and the thrax boots have cunning and a technique slot on them those are s's you could argue a's but i would say s's cunning is an easy thing to get out of the way between the three of these things thrax's gloves have nine lives brutality where are the nine lives stuff oh just throw it in here nine lives no time weave gear we are finally at the time weave gear and predator technique slot all the way s tier probably better than those overpower technique slots time weave gear time weave gear we'll throw that in a tier because of the potentially not useful in escalation and stuff and the heroic escalation and stuff catalyst and brutality slot probably low s i would say because that's just great overpower power slot we're probably throwing that here case in point get the time weave gear as fast as humanly possible that is going to be the best gear in the game pretty much you can you can pretty much function off of just running the time weave gear orgadoro zeal utility slots gotta be f right it's gotta be f torgadoro gloves overpower power slots same as this a tier knockout king power slots not good where's the pangar helmet and stuff down here yep what is it? Is this the same thing? Is this Knockout King and Power Slot? We are still not done with Riftstalker stuff somehow. We are finally done here. Etheric Attunement Insight Slot for this Riftstalker helmet. Gotta be a D tier, right? I think there's something comparable in here. Oshai Helmet. Agility Finesse Slot. Not good. Not very good. Uh, definitely an F tier. Agility just reduces the dodge cost. We have eight more things. We have the Nezaga gear and we have the Frost Wolf gear. Aegis Brutality slot for the Wolf main, probably D or F. It's, you can get free invincibility every now and then, but probably not going to be great. Uh, Aegis Fortitude slot, probably gonna throw that there as well. We have the Wolf Claws, which have galvanized in a Fortitude slot. It's not the worst, probably better than the helmet, but probably not better than a lot of other things. So we'll throw that in the D tier. The Wolf Paws have Cascade Brutality Slot. Actually, not bad. Not the worst. Better than the Helmets. Better than these, probably. We'll throw those as a C tier. Mid C tier for those. Probably less, because Cascade is not that great. And finally, we are on Nezaga stuff. Medic plus Insight Slot for the Helmets. That's got to be an F tier, but pretty good fashion-wise, though. Etheric Attunement Insight slot here. I believe that's up here as well. The same same thing as these. The boots are Energized Defense slot. Where was where was those? Here, somewhat, probably probably here. Not great. Energized, only good on sword. And finally, we have the Nezaga coat, the five hundred dollar. We have Medic Fortitude. That is an F and a half. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the Dauntless armors tier list all right so if we wanted to recap we have god tier stuff in the s and a these are pretty much most of the the armor pieces you are going to be using and then the b tier stuff is sort of the you are going to use this based on something else going on with your build you know if you're running adrenaline if you're running tenacious stuff c tier is pretty much going to be the same category as this but has slightly less applications then D tier, F tier is pretty much what you're not going to be using ever. And then we have the mobility builds and memes only. I think I missed a couple things for mobility builds, but I don't think there are actually mobility cells on like the chest piece and the gloves. But yeah, that is pretty much going to be the whole tier list here. But yeah, that is going to be it. I got to edit this stuff now. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I have been Trevor. I go by the Mr. Trails and I will catch you guys next time.